many. I've been to 14. And I can't tell you how proud I am and how inspired I am when I look out at this crowd and I see our community, our plant, our people. And look at how professional and peaceful and just lovely everybody is. And yet the governments across this country, federally, provincially, and in many cities, think of you all as criminals. They call you criminals because you're breaking the law. And today 420 is not just about coming together and celebrating cannabis and protesting prohibition. 420 on April 20th is the biggest mass civil disobedience act of law breaking around the world. People coming together and saying, I'm gonna come out and break the law and show you that I should not be a criminal, that this should not be against the law, that what we are doing here today is what we were supposed to be legalizing. But instead, Trudeau and the Liberal government, with the police at his side in the form of Bill Blair, I shouldn't be calling out the cops because the last time I did a year ago or two I got arrested and convicted and now I stand before you as a convict and a criminal in the eyes of the law. But like many others, we don't see ourselves as criminals. We should not be called criminals. We shouldn't have shame. We shouldn't be demonized. You should not be called the scum of the earth out to deny people their liberty and freedom. You are the people providing liberty and freedom. You are the people providing cannabis access. You are the people breaking the law because unjust laws need to be peacefully, openly broken to say to the world that this should not be a crime and we should not be criminals and Mr. Trudeau Liberal government, you cannot continue to make this illegal, but they're trying. Today there are eight offenses under the law for cannabis. Under the Cannabis Act, the legalization bill, C-45, there will be 45 new cannabis offenses. Under these new penalties, some Maximums go from seven years to 14 years. So if you're 19 and you pass a joint to someone who's 18, you could be facing 14 years in prison. That is not legalization. That is not what we've been fighting for. We're not saying we're here to give kids pot, even though the evidence shows that marijuana is medicine and cannabis oil is curing children of their suffering and helping babies and children be relieved of their pain and their epilepsy. Cannabis saves lives. Cannabis does not hurt people. Cannabis heals people. Cannabis is the tree of life. And when they try to deny us the access to the medicine that heals our bodies and frees our minds, and allows us to feel at peace, that should be the crime. Not this, not 420, not the cannabis community. So please be aware that even though we know legalization in name is coming our way, it's not in form what we need to see. It is not the freedom, it is not the justice, it is not the equality or the inclusivity that we deserve. Everything here today will remain illegal under the legalization law. That is unacceptable. So every day, cannabis activists, cannabis dispensary operators, cannabis growers, the providers, the educators, the advocates, the patients, the people, you are the ones who are making change happen. You are the ones who pressured Trudeau to sneakily say he was going to legalize it because he needed to do it to shut people up because we demand legalization. But we demand real legalization, not the re-